Hello, YouTube friend. Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, tonight's topic is three fish that have been on fire. And I've had three fish recently show a lot of good color, and I've been sharing them on Instagram. Maybe you've seen them, but I thought I'd do a little video about them. And uh, in showing you the fish, you'll notice that there might be some particulates in the water. That is because it's Thursday night, and that's water change night. So I just finished a water change. And when I do a water change, I always rake the sand. I rake the sand and uh, release any gas that might be, be in there. And, uh, and that can stir things up. And it takes, just, it takes a little bit to clear up. Uh, in another 10, 15, 30 minutes maybe, this tank will be uh, crystal clear again from the two uh, Sun Sun 704Bs that are running on it. Okay, so let's take a look at three fish that have recently been on fire. And you tell me below what you think. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. first fish I want to focus on is this Fusco. Recently this fish has been going um, from a pattern to a solid light blue and then back to a pattern within seconds. It's been going through a lot of um, color changes. Very very good looking fish. A lot of blue in the face. He can get up to over 10 inches. It's a true predator. And uh, for some reason he's being shy, which he normally isn't. Here he comes. He's usually a camera hog. There he goes. Nice pink in the behind the gills there, and you can see the anal fin has great egg spots. Nice markings on the tail. I was spoiled because I had a very nice Fusco before. Those of you who've been following my channel for a while remember him, and he was quite a specimen. So I wasn't sure if I be let down by this guy, but he is really developing nicely. I picked him up from uh, Tampa Bay Cichlids. They seem to have a nice strain of Fuscos. Actually, most of my Nimbochromis are from them. Except for the Venusis. I picked up the Venusis locally, but the Living Stony, the Linny, big brute of a polystigma. Those are from uh, Tampa Bay Cichlids. The other fish that um, I want to focus on is this seven inch Taiwan Reef who happens to be hiding over on the other side of the tank. Let's sneak around and see if we can take a good look at him without startling him. He's been looking really good recently with some yellows and greens showing up on his sides. Very nice highlights in the anal fin. Beautiful blue face. And he's a bit of an oddball because you don't really see Taiwan uh, reefs that size. He's got to be pushing seven inches. Like I mentioned, you see a lot of particulates. We're just after a water change. Oh, there he goes. Look, he changed color to us within the same video. He starts to go solid color, loses all his pattern. And then the pattern will start to come back in again. He's fired up about something. The other fish I, I've noticed recently is looking really good is this Linny. The Lindy can get up to, um, well, he can get up over 10 inches, just like that Fusco. And he's a true predator. That snout he has is to be able to pull fry out from between rocks. At some point, he'll lose that beautiful pattern he has on his body. And he'll go mostly green, which is a shame because it's a beautiful pattern. A 
Love that tetrastigma. So those are the three fish. My uh, sand diver here is looking good. He's trying to get a pointed anal fin with egg spots. So I'm hoping that's a male. The jury is still out on the hawk. He has a rounded anal fin, but hawks take forever to color up, so I still haven't lost hope on him. So there you have it. Three fish that recently have been on fire. So there they are. What do you think? Put your comments below, and uh, certainly if you'd like to subscribe, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that button that's going to appear over here. And if you'd like to get an alert when I release a video, uh, click on that bell that appears below the, uh, below the video. All right? So thank you so much for tuning in, and I really appreciate your support of the channel. And uh, certainly give me your comments on these fish or any fish that you saw in my tank. I do appreciate your comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.